for arranging for the ambassador to come and address us uh, this morning and to have a, a round table of, uh, of uh, discussion of issues of importance to our countries and our businesses. Uh, it's very difficult to do an introduction to Senator Sanders since uh, he is so well known uh, to everybody, and not only in this region, but, but across the state. Um, we have, uh, for years, worked very closely together between the business community, Senator Sanders when he was mayor of Burlington, when he was a congressman and now as a United States Senator, on issues that where we can find common ground. And there are more issues where we can find common ground than there are issues of difference. Uh, I think about six months ago, the Senator came to our board meeting. And we had a great discussion on issues of mutual interest. It is always a pleasure uh, to be able to introduce the Senator from the State of Vermont, Bernie Sanders. Thank you very much for the work you do in general and for helping to organize this meeting. And thank, we thank all of you for coming out this morning. Um, I think that in general, as a nation, we don't do as good a job as we might in learning about what's going on in the rest of the world. A lot of very interesting things, and I think it's an arrogant people who says, we know everything, there's nothing more to be learned. We have it all down pat, especially at a time when this country faces something very serious crisis. And I have believed for a long time that one of the areas in the world that we have not looked at uh, with the kind of lens that we might with Scandinavia channel. It has been a very impressive part of the world which has not gotten the credit uh, in many respects for some extraordinary accomplishments. Uh, it is a part of the world where they have gone a long way to eliminating poverty. That's pretty good. The human civilization has been striving for that forever. And they've gone a long way to do that. All of their people have health care without basically going into their pockets. The quality of it is very good. For those of you who are business people, they spend about half of what we spend per capita. Provide quality care to all of their people. Their outcome is perhaps a little bit better than ours. Uh, in terms of education, uh, many of us who have kids who have struggled to figure out how to come up with forty, fifty thousand dollars a year to send their kids to college. They have very good schools, and the cost of higher education in Denmark is. Probably funded. Want to go to medical school? You don't leave medical school like we do at UVM, 150,000 in debt. There is no debt. Uh, their kids do very well in school. And what they have managed to do, which I think is extraordinary, they have managed to do it and they have been able to do it because they have one of the most pro business environments in the entire world. I think the ambassador will tell you they received international recognition for their pro-business environment. Strong economy, it has a chair of provinces, every other economy in the world does. So on one hand, what they've done is created a climate where they are creating wealth. And on the other hand, they have said, having created that wealth, we're gonna make sure that our children do well, that everybody in our society is gonna have a strong opportunity for education and guaranteed health care and other social benefits. Everybody in Denmark, among other things, gets six weeks paid vacation. How's that? When you have a baby, here's family values, you get a year off, a year off with full benefits. How's that for family values? Etc. So I think they are a country that we can study. It's a very different country than ours. There are five million people. History is different. There are 300 million people. But having accomplished the goal of creating wealth and having accomplished the goal of making sure that most, almost everybody in society can benefit from that wealth is a pretty good accomplishment. Now we're here to talk about anything you would like to talk about, we're talking about Denmark in general, but we could also talk about what interests me, how Vermont businesses can benefit from an improved relationship uh, with Denmark. And we hope that you'll be raising some of those questions with the ambassador. Uh, the ambassador is a trained economist, uh, and uh, he has been the ambassador in this country now for how many years? Fifth year. Is he going to China next? Yes. Thank you. He is certainly one of the most respected foreign diplomats uh, from Denmark, and it is a great honor and privilege uh, that he's with us today. Last night, we had him in uh, Montpelier. We had a huge turnout uh, to hear him. Uh, after we leave here at noon, we're going to be up at UVM Medical School to talk about uh, the Danish uh, healthcare system. Then we're going to go to St. Mike's later in the afternoon to talk about uh, education. So without further ado, it is my uh, great uh, privilege uh, to welcome to the state of Vermont the ambassador uh, from Denmark, uh, Fries Peterson. Well, thank you so much, uh, Senator Sanders. I 
that's such an introduction, I hardly need to say some, anything at all. <laughs> you said so many important things. Uh, I would, by way of introduction, just say a few words about the Danish economy and our political system. We are, of course, very similar to the sort of political philosophy of the United States, and that is really what, what matters most to us when we look at the world. Where do we have that other country, those other countries, with whom we can cooperate on the basis of very equal identity? Equal philosophy, democracy is the best thing that you can have. The respect for human rights, the rule of law that you want to embody in the society of yours to produce equality, economic equality, political equality, equal opportunities, freedom, freedom of choice. And that is, of course, for us, without any doubt, in Denmark, United States of America, that is the most important strategic ally for us in the world. At the same time, we are Europeans, so we would trade with those countries that are closest to us. And for many years, we had a unique trade with our biggest and best neighbors, Germany, Sweden, UK, Norway, Netherlands, and so on. The last five, 10 years, globalization has for real door deposit upon us. Not that we not always wanted to see the world and, and travel by far. If you look back to our genes in the Viking pool, we always traveled quite, quite extensively and, and did a lot of trade. Some would say that, that we raped and pillaged as well. But that was a Norwegian and Swedish part. Of the <laughs> <laughs> we Danes did the trade and sort of stayed with that and found, found that very attractive business. Um, in the last few years, the US economy has become very important to us. So today, the US is among our four most important trade partners, not just in trade, but also investment. I mentioned the figure last night, I had to go back and check it. We did Danish companies in the US all together. 15 billion US dollars private direct investment in the US. That's a, that's a lot, given a small state of five and a half million. And, and the examples I would highlight are exactly from those sectors within which we probably have the comparatively best advantages, energy and medicine and from the 